And we're going to give the folks a chance to hear that in just about 30 seconds right after I tell you that we also have some uh, social media sites. One on Facebook is the David Bowers Awards Groups page, and that is where you can go and post directly your releases, uh, touring if you're going to be uh, out doing live shows, which we hope to be doing more of, uh, whatever you want to share with your your fans and our followers so that, uh, hey, perhaps you can pick up a few more fans along the way. Zach, please do. Yeah. Keep in touch with us. You're part of our family now, and uh, we'd love to hear from you again. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you guys for having me. I really enjoyed this. Thank you. You're absolutely welcome, ladies and gentlemen. His name is Zach Landry, and here's the tune he was talking about. Hold on. This song says, hold on. Be strong. You can make it. Yes, you can. I mean, everyone out there that's going through that struggle, remember the faith that you possess. <laughs> the breakthrough is going to come. In this life, we all go through ups and downs. of a mustard seed. When it's saying never mind, you gotta believe. Hold on. That's Zach Landry right here on The David Bowers Awards. Thank you 
so much, Zach. Glad to have you here with us sharing your story and your music. We have another guest standing by, and uh, she's a young lady who, well, she has some of the same traits, a uh, multiplicity of talents and uh, a lot of serious goals. We're going to be talking with her in about four minutes or so. Right after we listen to this track of hers called I Keep Moving On.
keep on moving. That Vandy Lene, our next guest here on the David Bowers Awards. Hello, Vandy. Hi. Thank you so much for having me. I'm glad to be here. You're so welcome. Thank you for sparing the time to come and chat with us. How are you? I'm doing good. I have a little bit of allergies. You know, spring is sprung, but otherwise, oh, you're yes. good. <laughs> oh, yes, they'll do that. What part of the country are you in? Right now I live in Indianapolis. I came here after I finished grad school to be near family, uh, but I actually grew up in California in the Bay Area. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, Indianapolis from the Bay Area, that had to be a change on several levels. I spent 30 years on the other end of California, so I got kind of spoiled ah. by that southwestern weather. Currently, I'm I'm hiding out in the uh, Phoenix area, but that's uh, that's a whole other oh, nice. story. My grandparents live in Tucson, so oh, they, really? they get that nice desert weather right now too. <laughs> oh yeah, it's still it's still decent. We're in the 80s to near 90 this week, and uh, in the not too far distant future, we will be getting uh, we will be getting temperatures that have three numbers in them before very long. I do a little homework now and then. You know, sometimes when I I get real bored, I say, well, hey. I'm going to look up this artist and see what they uh, what they do, what I can learn about them. And uh, I was kind of floored because I was reading your uh, your bio, your short bio, and I'm looking at the, at all of these accomplishments. Let's see, I saw opera singer, a musical talent, musical theater, regular theater, film, commercial work, modeling, stage combat. Hmm. Yes. A motion picture <laughs> or motion capture, voiceover narrator, songwriter, pianist, dancer. What do you do in your spare time? Oh, I, I pretty much just work because it's my favorite thing to do. I <laughs> am one of those lucky people that I get to work doing the things I love to do. So it's pretty, it's pretty fun. Um, if I have downtime, I usually hang out with my two dogs. And I like to go hiking. I like to explore different parks. Um, I actually, sure. I like doing more active things too, but temporarily I am not allowed to do some of the things I normally like to do, like martial arts or skydiving, because I had a motorcycle accident about a Ouch. year ago, and my doctors said, hey, you hit your head pretty hard. So even though I was wearing a helmet, they said, let's not do anything where you can jar your your body yeah. right now. So I'm taking a break from things like snowboarding, you know, because if I sure. wiped out, I might, you know, impact a little too hard. But I do like to snuggle with my pups. I have a toy poodle named Scotty and a multi poo named Daisy. And they, they're lots of fun. And I like to, I like to go outdoors and just enjoy being outside. So that's, I, I do crafts. Too. My grandma's an artist, a painter, so she, from a young age, she had me doing art projects. So I like to do art in my spare time too, if I if I have spare time. But most of the time, I'm busy doing uh, some kind of a project, you know, that well, is related to sounds, work in some way. It sounds like it, and you have a multitude of interests. But I, I do have to ask you. I, I was just intrigued by that one stage combat. What exactly right. is that? <laughs> it is kind of an odd thing because even though I do martial arts as well, I um, in, in stage combat, you don't actually hit anybody or kick anybody, right? So it is a way that you pretend to fight on stage. So it's for theater. So I might be doing a sword fight or a knife fight or a fist fight, right, in a theatrical production but you don't actually fight the person. It's all choreo choreographed to be for the production, and it tells the story. So it's kind of like dance in a way where it's all planned out, except you're dancing with swords, right. uh, and you grunt and you know make sounds like you're actually fighting the person. It's a lot of fun. I like it a lot. And honestly, it's some of the best acting training that I've had um, doing more stage combat, it's a very physical acting technique, and it's all about how does what I'm doing tell the story. So it, it's sure. a lot of fun. I've been doing that since I was an undergrad. I don't do it as much anymore, but I have done training with the BS, uh, BASSC in uh, England, so that's based out of England. And then I've also worked with the SAFD, which is the North American 